Hi, my name is Kevin Strawmeyer, and I'm a product manager here at N Computing. Every day, over 10 million users use our virtual desktop products in over 140 countries. Now we're making it even easier to share the power of a PC with the industry's first USB virtual desktop. All you have to do is install our vSpace software into a standard PC, connect this device with a standard USB cable, and you can share that PC with multiple users in just a few minutes. The U170 supports full motion, full screen video, and multimedia applications, allowing it to easily support business and educational users, and even home users, making it a great companion to your home or home office PC. The U170 can support large display resolutions of up to 1600 by 1200 for normal aspect ratio, or 1680 by 1050 for widescreen displays. Multimedia applications and videos play well with multiple users. In fact, in this setup, we have five users watching five DVD quality movies scaled to full screen, and only 50% of this $400 PC is being used. Each U170 device only draws 2 watts of power. In our test environment, 5 stations only draw 220 watts of power, or around 40 watts per user. Setting up a U170 is easy. First, load the vSpace software CD into your PC and follow the prompts to install vSpace software. Next, connect a USB keyboard mouse, speakers, microphone, and display to the U170. Finally, plug in the U170's USB cable into a USB port on your PC. Once the system restarts, you will have an additional station with a login screen ready to go. For schools or digital signage applications, there is a convenient auto login feature so that a U170 will automatically log in and run preset applications or files if needed. The U170 can be easily mounted to the back of a display using the convenient integrated Visa mount feature. Add a powered USB hub to your workspace attached to the U170 for a convenient access to USB accessories. A USB device attached to the U170 will automatically be assigned to the user who was logged in, so no configuration is needed.